So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. It's locked, all right. It's locked. I should find the key. Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. Edgar. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Easy. Easy. Save your strength. 
I'm getting you out of here. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Geoffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... dare to attack us in the open. What b became of him? To prove him wrong, I let him go. Really? Uh, you sure that was the wisest course of action? Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. I trust you, Edgar. But the guard of Prewen is onto something. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. Why would the guard of Prewen believe... Maybe due to our profession? Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. Uh, terrible. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter. Full of hatred and festering anger. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. My po- Come on. 
Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. How dare you judge me? Must I name the alarming list of your victims? We are both deceivers. But at least I know I'm a monster. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. No, Edgar, you are not going to die. Unless you want to. What, what, what do you mean? I can save you, Edgar. I can turn your broken body into one like mine. You truly would? After all I've done, after all that's been said, you would offer me this gift? I have no way of knowing which punishment would be worse, Edgar. But it is not for me to decide. So? Oh, please, Jonathan, please. I beg you. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always searched for. Very well, then. Prepare to die and be reborn. To face an eternity of guilt. I'm ready. Oh, indeed, I am ready. <laughs> Enough!
return at a more convenient time. So Harriet Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. Crush the leech for I must tell Elizabeth. Die! Over there! There's one of them! What good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? Of a sort. His injuries were mortal. I had no choice but to make him one of us. To save him. Or to punish him. To punish him? I fail to understand. And what is the source of this cold tone in your voice? Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? Edgar's behavior was beyond lunacy. He had neither the discipline, knowledge, nor the proper facilities to conduct blood experiments. I must say I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient. Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected, and how she became an I-Corps. 
She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? <sighs> no. No. This can't be. Oh, God. Elizabeth, are you all right? Uh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. Now would be a good time to blend the recipe Marshall used when he fought the disaster. I think I know where to find what I need. Whose blood could be purer than that of William Marshall? Lord Redgrave will have to spare me a drop.
I'm still persona non grata in the Ascalon Club. If I want to speak with Lord Redgrave, I'll have to improvise. How dare you interfere with my hunt! Your prey is mine!
You're mine! Stupid! Good evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing here, traitor? I shall smite you for this audacity. I'm not here to bicker, Lord Redgrave. I can put an end to this epidemic, but I need your assistance to do so. Good. We've held out thus far, but the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker proffered it to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. This is more important than the club you or me. This is London's last hope. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my lord. If you manage to save this city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. Our fate lies wholly in your hands.
Easy does it, boys. We can deal with this vermin. Effectiveness has been proven by many. Even the flu is no match for the Swanborough Cordial. Best turn around if I were you. Stupid bitch! It ain't human! Kill it! If McCollum really drank the blood of King Arthur, then I may have found another vital ingredient for my recipe. Good evening, Vampire Hunter. Are you here to end me, Leech? You'll find I will not be killed easily. Not at all, McCollum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. 
Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic. Why would you... Ah. You found Marshall's memoirs. Or should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to. But I must know more. What precisely are your plans? I have found the carrier, McCollum. The infection's source. It may be science or some supernatural power that's responsible for all this. But I will harness either or both to end the epidemic. A vampire doctor. My god, you're a terrifying creature. Jonathan Emmett Reed. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Dr. Reed. Thank you. And farewell, McCollum. Unbelievable as it is. I wish you good luck, Reed. I cannot use garlic, but there may be a substitute in the Pembroke Hospital drug storage.
There it is. Insulin. Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis, and much less dangerous for me. Thank you, Dr. Polescu.
Woodland seems stable. Time to go and find Harriet in the sewers. <laughs>